Today on 5 Minute Velo, I'm going to take you on a small adventure. I'm going to be riding from my home near Cambridge, joining a group of other cyclists and riding to the south coast of England to somewhere called Brighton. Let's hope I can fit this all into five minutes. I've set up my gravel bike in dry day ride mode. That is no mud guards. I've put on my 650B wheels with its slightly wider 36 mm tires for more comfort. I've also put on my Brooks C17 Cambium saddle and I have a little day pack here for putting stuff in. I chose these wheels because as you'll see in a minute there's a little bit of gravel to start with. This is one of my co-conspirators Rob. Is that a bike I haven't seen before? This is my infamous gravel bike. The first section is from Cambridge through to Tilbury where we catch a ferry across the River Thames. This first section is the flattest bit. So hopefully I won't have too much trouble. Once we cross the River Thames it gets a bit more hilly. Despite it being a bit cold when I left this morning, I think it was about 6 degrees centigrade, the weather forecast suggests we're going to have a lovely day. Sunshine, temperatures up to about 22 degrees centigrade and light winds. As I decided to meet the team part way into the route, I decided to ride along the route relatively slowly, that is at my normal speed, and give them time to catch me up. Morning all, morning. Morning. Oh, everyone looks so smart. Wow. Morning all, morning. Morning in. Here comes my team. Quite a big group. Morning team. Morning. Hey Terry. Hiya. Hi. 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 Terry. Karen. Um, Hi Terry. Hi Terry. Yet another pretty Essex village. With too many cars. May I say that is very undignified. Hmm? This is the sort of thing that could cost someone an election, isn't it? <laughs> no. Seventy kilometres in, and so far there have been no major roads. Okay, maybe a couple of short sections on A roads, but most of the roads have been quite small. And now we're on a bike path, which has got a good surface, nice and wide, and the only obstacles are the occasional pedestrian.
Mind you, having said that, we now come out on a fairly busy road. And then before we knew it, we were at Tilbury and heading for the port so we could cross the River Thames. And now we're going down to the port terminal. And it appears there's a ferry in. Is it a car ferry as well? No, I don't think so. Just bikes and passengers. I think this is it. Thank you very much, that was one of the best ferry journeys ever. And now we're in Kent. And then, having scoffed our way through half a ton of paninis, we left the Gravesend and headed for the hills. Yes, this was to be by far the hilliest part of the route. Well, we're well and truly into the hills now. We're going up the northern face of the North Downs. Currently at 100 85 meters probably another 60 or 70 meters of climbing to go and then after that there's just more climbing and more climbing wow this is gorgeous And there we have our first view of the South Downs and the impending Ditchling Beacon. I've just turned towards Ditchling Beacon and my garment is showing a fairly steep piece of road. So I'm expecting to start climbing soon. Serious climbing. I haven't ridden up Ditchlin Beacon since about the mid-1980s. So it'll be an old new experience for me. Mm -hmm. 
I can see the hill rearing up in front of me now. It's got my Climb Pro screen. Goes up 168 meters in two kilometers. Average gradient, 7%. It's probably double that in some places. Well done. Put a sprint on. Well, we made it to Brighton. Yeah. Hey. 